You're my boy. Now, so uh, we want to create a a platform for us um, as a, just for the new company, J. Morrison Real Estate Partners. And so everyone knows that, well, maybe everyone doesn't know, but so uh, I've been in real estate for 10 years as an investor, realtor, mortgage banker, different careers in real estate. Had a lot of success. Um, got into the educational component of real estate. Really, uh, 2011 started doing a program for high schools called Hip Hop to Homeowner. You just go here, it's cool. <laughs> so I started going to the high schools and actually teaching uh, 11th and 12th graders about financial literacy, their credit scores, you know, uh, FICO scores, how to use credit cards, and it's about the principles and foundation of real estate. Because I felt within our community, um, we look statistically, uh, the African American community, minority community, um, Spanish as well, are always dead last in all the wealth statistics and all the home ownership statistics as far as the worst credit, least homeowners, and all the good stuff were last and all the bad stuff were first. So I want to do something proactive about trying to fix that. So we started, um, my theory was, as Frederick Douglass said, it's, uh, I think it's easier to, re easier to build children than to rebuild you know, broken men. So I want to do something for our youth, and I probably botched that up, but you get it. So um, I wanted to do something for our youth, so I started doing um, hip hop to homeowners in high schools, bringing a DJ in, teaching about financial literacy. I wrote my book. But in that process, I got a real passion for actually giving back and all my message and actually connecting. So it's all this, you know, just the success people were having, just from reading my book and following those steps. So I wanted to try to keep piggybacking that, trying to figure out um, how do I even do today? How can I reach more people? How can I empower more people, educate more people, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> So we started doing seminars. Um, also, uh, last November, I came up with an idea for an online school, which turned into the Jake Morrison Academy, which was launched January 8th of uh, this year. And it'll be our one year anniversary, January 8th of coming up, of the Academy. We get a lot of success, and a lot of students having success, just basically um, following a pre mapped out blueprint how you build a real estate investing business. And not just be a side hustler, trying to do real estate and doing it um, any kind of impartial way, but really building a great foundation to have a career in it and be successful as a entrepreneur and actually learn how to flip houses, wholesale houses, build buyers list, sellers list, et cetera. And my students have had a lot of success throughout the country um, just following that blueprint. I mean, I was really excited and um, inspired by one of my original students, Raylanda McClinton, is a single mom out of Detroit. She owns a hair salon. She got in the academy in our first, the first month it opened. She's graduating in a few weeks. But during that period, um, with no help of, on, on her own, just follow my blueprint, she was able to wholesale two deals this year. She bought two houses this year. She flipped the house this year and did all that on her own as an entrepreneur, running a whole different business as a single mom. So the reason why I was so what I was so empowering to me is because and there's been other success stories as well. I mean, I've got young guys, 18 years old, closing their first deal, and other people down in Atlanta making 40,000, this, that, and the third. But I guess where that that helped validate my um, mentorship for me because I, I want to do well at whatever I do. I want to be great at it. So I don't want to be, which is why we do these kind of events and everything else that I do. I don't want to be the guy that gives you real estate information, but then there's no follow up or it's not really working. If it's not working, if my, if my what I'm offering the community is not working, then it's I'm doing something wrong. It's flawed, so I need to fix that because that's my responsibility. Because I took one of the, this, this role as a mentor or a coach or, or a leader, right? So when Elanda told me that just by following my blueprint, now mind you, she never met me prior to me coming to Detroit doing our events. So she only learned from me online. Everybody said I don't like online learning. I can't learn that way. And we all do have different you know kind of learning styles, but it validated the fact that what the information that we are giving, when it was applied by someone who was aggressive, even without, even without having the best situation, she was able to start building her legacy, start building her business. 
So to, to have a couple properties now and have made some money um, for her investment into the course, it proved to me that period, point blank period, it can be done. And not just, I know it's like a, a male dominated industry, real estate investing. So it's not just by men. It's not just why about people that have started with money or started with credit or had some handed down to them. But well, starting from the beginning, anyone can be successful at it if you are diligent and you follow certain steps, right? So I'm going to give everyone in the room, um, this is your opportunity really to be aggressive, start, start politicking. I'm going to give everybody three minutes and everybody needs to get three contact numbers or business cards or someone's information, three people that you didn't know prior to coming here. Great job. Hopefully I got you guys smiling a little bit, got your blood flowing, but you know, you're here for, for a reason. Um, I'm semi-impressed by at least one of you. And that's the young man here. What's your name? Anthony. 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 No, it is. Anthony semi-impressed me because he's the only one out of the room that actually gave me his card. Everyone's here at Jay Morrison's Real Estate Exchange. Only one person came in the network with Jay Morrison. And that was Anthony. I'm only semi-impressed with Anthony because he gave me his card, right? So I have his information. He didn't ask me for mine. That was three minutes for everybody in the room to meet, to get three people's information that you didn't know before. I don't know none of y'all. <laughs> so I was, I was eligible for everyone, and no one except for Anthony gave me their business card, and no one at all asked me for my information on my card. Wow. Can I have your car? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Late. And this is something that we've done the last three three nights, as we were in Cleveland last night and Detroit the night before. Same exact thing. Last night in Cleveland, two people gave me their car and walked away, shook my hand. Detroit, two people. No one asked for my information. Why do you think that? Why do I think it? I think because everyone said the guy from the room is untouchable. Or the guy from the room is probably going to tell me no. And everyone wrote themselves a story in their head that it was a no before they even tried to get a yes. The biggest value I could offer anyone really as a, as a consulting coach, mentor, example, or whatever, is not so much the technical real estate skills. It's really the intangible skills. But if you're not, if you're not thinking the right way, if you're not looking at the world right perspective, you're never going to maximize any business that you're going to. And part of that is always, if it's little to lose and a lot to gain, always try. My name is Jamal Little. Um, the way that Jay inspired me, honestly, he just took a chance in trying to be the best that he could be, despite his circumstances, despite his past. And um, I mean, you see what happened from that now. And then he applied his passion after he had found that success. And, you know, he's really doing something that he loves. For, and he's touching other people's lives. I feel like that's the ultimate win. Like, when you can do something that you love, you can be successful at it and touch other people's lives, it's nothing better than that.